Hendo, Hendo, I need a word, mate, uh, to what you best wipe that smirk off your face. Dude, you have got to stop costing us games, mate. It's getting ridiculous. Now, I know we've gone through this before, and I thought you understood, so maybe it's my mistake. But I know that your role on the team is as a closer, but you're supposed to be closing the games out for us, not the opposition, okay? All right, well, hopefully that's cleared up any confusion. Now, run along. Go on, mate. Hey guys, I'm Aussie Villain, and welcome to Game 4 of the World Series. It's Season 2, I don't know what episode we're up to, it must be, are we getting 20? It must be getting close to 20, but it's Game 4 of the World Series, and today we are playing Atlanta Braves in Atlanta. Hopefully, uh, we're going to uh, tie the series up at 2-2, having fallen behind 2-1. But, as was suggested after last game by Citizen Nev in the Discord, there is a link to the Discord down in the description if you haven't already joined, um... It's now Liam Hendricks, Liam the Choke Hendricks. Um, hopefully, he's got all his choking out of his system, um, and he will see us through to a World Series victory from here. But, yeah, he's uh, he's not covering himself in glory right now, is he? But this is uh, where we stand in the series, 2-1 down. Uh, you can see everybody's numbers there throughout the series. Our number, pitching numbers are a little bit uh, behind my head, I realize. Um, but the ones down the bottom there, we don't really want to see who that is anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. Um, but yeah, that is that is where we stand in this World Series 2-1 down. Now, one thing I did say again in the Discord that I would do this episode is have a quick look at our upcoming free agents so we can start and you know, turn an eye towards next season. And this is, uh, this is it. These are upcoming free agents. Now, the, the big decision I think we have, well, we've got two decisions to make. Cespedes won't be staying. Um, it was a gamble that didn't really pay off. He only batted 209 this year, so we haven't really lost too much. We signed him on a free agent, and he will leave as a free agent. Um, the two decisions I think we have are Adrizana. Do we want to keep him for $6 million a year? He is a very useful um, sort of uh, utility infielder. He's done well for us without maybe being outstanding. Is he worth six million, or are we better off perhaps looking to see what if we can spend that money better elsewhere? I'm kind of torn. I think he has done a good job for us, but six million is a lot of money for what is essentially a a backup infielder. Um, yeah, I don't don't quite know if he hits well enough. But anyway, that's one of our decisions. The other decision we have, uh, well, it's sort of a two parter. Uh, Gavincio here is up uh, on a, as free, a free agent. Now, he didn't really do it for us in the major leagues. ERA is sort of four and a half, give or take. But he has done really well this year in AAA. He's 31, though. So, as a bullpen option, is it someone we want to keep around? Um, he would want uh, just under a million. The other one is Bruce Rondon, who wants 1.8 million to stay. He has been... A good pitcher for us this year. ERA well, for over the last two years. ERA has been getting better. He's 30, so he's not particularly past it. His WAR this season was 1.1. ERA plus of 190. Uh, as I said, ERA just over two and a half. Um, I tend to think maybe we do want to keep him, um, but. Yeah, I'm not completely sure. If we go and have a look at what we have um, in terms of uh, AAA and, and pitchers coming that are sort of available to us. Curtis Taylor is coming back from injury. He is someone that could come in to replace him, and he's arguably better. So maybe we want to let him go to give Taylor a chance. Uh, other pitchers we have in the system. Vargas, who's more of a long reliever than, um, than Rondon. But again, he's maybe... Maybe it's someone we want to give a chance to. Uh, and the other one, there is somebody else. I think it's Larkins, isn't it? Um, again, is decent enough and a younger pitcher. So we have options, and he did well in AAA this year as well. So we do have options. It's whether we want to get rid of Rondon to give one of them a chance. Um, and that's something we have to decide, isn't it? Anyway, let's have a look at these lineups ready for Game 4. And this is it. Bo Bichette leads us off at shortstop. Biggio stays in the lineup, batting second at second. Guerrero Jr. bats third at third. Rowdy Tellez, there was talk. I did uh, in the Discord talk about the idea of dropping him. I've decided to keep him in for this one. He bats clean up at first base. Guerrero Jr. bats five in left field. Maguire bats six, the catcher. Derek Fisher in right field for this one. Um, we need somebody in right field that can get a hit. So we'll give Fisher a chance out there. Hamilton in a slump bats eight. He's the center fielder. Duplantier takes the mound for us. He's not been in good form. Uh, he's in a slump. But luckily for us, their starting pitcher is as well. Also in a slump. Um, and yeah, not the strongest uh, going around. So... 
yeah, that's uh, their guy. We know that Duplantier can do it. We know he is a potentially a very good pitcher. Let's hope he has a better day than their guy. And here we go, game four of the World Series. We are 2-1 down. There is a massive difference, isn't there, between being tied at two or being down three games to one. This is a must-win game for our Toronto Blue Jays. Bichette leads us off with a decently hit four, but can't get it past shortstop, and that is one away. Brings up Kevin Biggio now. Let's see what Kevin can do, batting 206 in the postseason. 0 oh, and 2 is the count on Kevin, and Kevin has hit it well! It's gone! Kevin Biggio! A home run in the top of the first, 412 feet. And that is what you like to see. Go on, Kevin. Amazing, amazing stuff. We take an early lead, and it brings up Vlad Jr. now batting 250 in the postseason. 1 and 2 is the count on Vlad. What can he do? Vlad slashes it out into right field, and it drops in for a single. All right. It brings up Rowdy Tellez now. Now, don't make me regret picking you in this lineup, mate. You're batting 232 in the postseason, and he has walked. The one thing that kept him in the lineup, to be honest, is the fact that he does get a lot of walk. His on-base percentage isn't actually too bad. Gorel Jr. now, two on, one out. What can Gorel do? He swings through strike three, and that is two away for the catcher, Reese Maguire, batting 263 in the postseason. Two and one's the count on him. Go on, Maguire. He has popped it up. That's going to be caught by the shortstop. And it'll do it for the first. But thanks to Kevin Biggio, we have a lead. Now, <coughs> I'm choking up with emotion here. Can Duplantier get the job done for us? Pache leads them off, batting 222 this postseason. Come on, Johnny boy. Come on, mate. Oh, dear. And just like that, it's 1-1. One, one. Well, that didn't... That's, uh, yeah, not what we wanted, is it? Pache with the home run, 408 feet over almost the same part of the field as uh, Biggio's effort. And the lead lasted all of two pitches. All right, come on, Johnny Boy, get back on it. First pitch to Encarte. He has laid down a bunt. Duplantier fields it over to first, and that's one away. Alves comes in, batting 358 in the postseason. 1 and 0 is the count on him. That's been popped up, I think. Hamilton's coming around. Should have a simple catch out there. He does, and that is two away. Freeman comes in, of course. The uh, Braves' hero of game three. Three and oh is the count on him. And Duplantier walks Freeman. Bringing up Riley, who is batting 438 this postseason. Full count on him. Come on, mate. Sit him down. He walks him. Two out, two on. And Duplantier faces Camargo, batting 333 in the postseason. 0 and 1 is the count. That has been hit into right field, and it drops in ahead of Fisher. Can he prevent the run from scoring? No, he cannot. And on the back of what I thought was a fantastic start by Biggio, we find ourselves 2 1 down. Duplantier now to face Diarno, batting 182 in the postseason. And he needs to get his act together here very, very quickly because this could be 3 1. Hamilton gets the throw in. He can't prevent the run coming across the plate. And this is going very wrong very quickly for Duplantier. Inglacius comes up to bat now, batting 281 in the postseason. Owen oh, wants the count on him. That's down the third baseline to Vlad. Does he have a play at first? He gets a play at second. All right, excellent stuff. Not a great first innings, though, was it? With 3-1 down, it's Derek Fisher to lead us off. He is batting 250 in the postseason. Full count on the leadoff, man. Can he get himself on board? He has popped it up. And it will be caught out there in right field by whoever their right fielder is, Incarte. Bringing up Billy Hamilton, who's in a slump, batting 229 in the postseason. Hamilton. Hamilton! Has he hit a home run? He has! Billy Hamilton brings us back 3-2. to two. What the, Probably the least man I would expect to, uh, to hit a home run. And he's gone and done it in the World Series. Go on, Billy Hamilton. In a slump as well. His first home run of the postseason. That will not surprise you. Duplantier comes up to bat now. First pitch swing from him. He owes us for that terrible first innings, but it's not going to get the job done, and that's two away. Bo Bichette comes up to bat now. 0 for 1 today, of course. 1 and 2 is the count on Bo. What can he do? 
He has got it up the middle, and it's going to be a two-out single for Bo Bichette. Bringing up Biggio, who, of course, sent us into the lead in the first innings. Let's see what he can do. One for one. Two and one's the count. Biggio up the middle. Biggio with his second hit of the game. Is Bichette going to stop at second? He's going for third, and he is going to get there. So with two out, we have runners at the corners for Vlad Jr. with a chance to drive in a run here. Come on, Vlad. First pitch swing by Vladimir Jr. It's well hit. Pache's there. It's over the top of Pache. What has happened there? Has it left? It's a ground rule double, is it? It's a ground rule double. Okay, so Vlad does tie us up. Biggio stands at third. He's at second for Rowdy Tellez, who walked last time up. What can he do this time? Tellez. Has he dropped it in? He has. Rowdy Tellez delivers a RBI. Just the one. Vlad's thrown out at the plate. But we go back in front. Four to three. Well, that's more like it, boys. The bats have awoken. Now, can Duplantier, second time around, be a little bit more careful with this lead? They're pinch hitting. Almonte comes into bat. That'll do it, obviously, for their starter. He's laid down a bunt. Duplantier springs off the mound, but he cannot do anything about it, and that is a leadoff hit. Brings Pache back up, who, of course, sent a ball into the fans first time around. Come on, Duplantier. That is a swinging bunt. Do we get a double out of that? No, we get nothing. And suddenly, two on, no one out, and the ball's barely left the infield yet. And Carte comes up to bat. He's 0 for 1 today. This needs to be an out. It's slashed into left field. Is it going to be anything more than a single? It's not. But with none out, we've loaded the bases. And Duplantier may need to leave the game here. Alves comes up. He's 0 for 1 today. Full count. And that's going to score at least one. Pache from third will probably come around. No. But again, we're tied up. Again, it's loaded bases. Still no one out. And still Duplantier stays on the mound. Freeman. He walks in a run. This was always the risk, but we didn't have much choice because obviously the Patterson injury means we're down a starter anyway. Joe Kelly comes in to try and rescue this for us. Full uh, loaded bases, no one out. A strikeout here would be absolutely huge, but he's walking another run. You're killing me, boys. You're absolutely killing me today. Camargo now. He's one for one. Still loaded bases. Still no one out. Can Kelly get a strikeout here? He cannot. Can we get two? Oh, we cannot. Another run comes across the plate. Runners at the corners. One out. Diano comes up to bat. And that is a double play. It should be a double play. It is. So we get out of that innings. But we give up four. Duplantier has given up seven runs in basically an innings work. De La Cruz comes on the pitch for them. It's Gorel Jr. to the plate. And you would not believe we've scored four runs in two innings, yet we are three runs down. Gorel Jr. gets a piece of it into left field. That's going to be a leadoff single for him. All right, Maguire comes up now. He is 0 for 1 today. What can the catcher do? Maguire gets it down the third base line, but it's going to be a double play. And that's two away. Bases are cleared. And it's Derek Fisher now, who's 0 for 1 today. What can he do? A, fence, a center strike out. There it is. And the third innings is not gone to plan. Inglacius comes in to face Joe Kelly. Two and two's the count. Inglacius hits it over Hamilton's head, is it? No, oh, Hamilton. That's a stunning catch, mate. Well done, Billy Hamilton. The pitcher comes up to bat for them. His first at bat in the postseason. And Kelly sits him down. All right, is this game about to settle in? Anthony Kay comes in now. And with the pitching slot up to bat next innings, that is an interesting decision to face uh, Pache here. Three and one's the count. Why would you not send Kelly out against this guy? And then we can pinch hit him. Kelly walks, uh, sorry, K walks his man. It's Incarte coming in. He's one for two. Full count on him as well. Hit into center field. And Hamilton makes another sliding catch. And that does it for the third. And we're already into our third pitcher as well. Hamilton, of course, hit a home run last time up. 1-0 and oh is the count. Billy Hamilton slaps it down towards third base. He's not going to be quick enough to beat that, and that's one away. 
And Kelly, he does hit. That doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, what do I know? One and two's the count on the pitcher. Kelly has got it straight to second base. That's two away. And Bo Bichette now comes in. He's one for two today. Two and one, or one and two, so he's the count. Bo Bichette has got all of that, and that's going to be a third home run of the game. Bo Bichette, 385 feet over the right field fence. It's five to seven. And, I mean, the hitters are doing their best to keep us in this game. The pitchers are doing their best to keep us out of it. It's Biggio now who's two for two today. Three and one is the count on Cavan. And he walks to bring up Vlad Jr. to the plate. He is two for two today. Can Vlad Jr. keep this going? Vlad Jr. well hit, but straight to third base, and that'll end the innings. We pull one back, though. And now we need to get back to work on the mound with Anthony Kay to face Ozzy Albers, who is one for two today. A first pitch swing here from Ozzy. Come on, Kay. Pops it up. Gorel Jr. should have a simple catch out there. He does. And that is one away. Brings up Freeman now, who is 0 for 0 today. He must have walked twice, has he? First pitch swing again. Freeman up the middle. It gets through the shift, and that will be a one-out single. All right, brings up Austin Riley. Again, 0 for 0 today. 1 and 2 is the count. Come on, Kay. Strikes him out. 2 away. Excellent stuff. Camargo, 1 for 2. He steps in. 1 and 2 is the count on him. He gets it up the middle, and that's going to be a 2-out single. Freeman will stay at 2nd. Go to 3rd if you want, mate, because you'll be out. But there we go. But can we, for once, guys, get a run back? And then not give up a run to next innings. It's Diano coming in. One for two he is. One and O oh is the count. That should end the innings. Bichette has it over to second. And that does it. All right. We end the fourth. Two runs down. Can we chip away further at this league? It is Rowdy Tellez who is one for one today. Full count on him yet again. Can he find himself on base here? Tellez. It's inside. It's a walk. Lead off man aboard. Gorel Jr., who's one for two. What can he do? Two and two's the count on Gorel, and he strikes out. Watches strike three go past. Maguire, who's 0 for two today, to come in and face the new man, Ian Anderson. One and two is the count on Maguire. Come on, Reesey boy. Come on, mate. He has got it up the middle, but it's popped up. It's not going to go anywhere, and that will be uh, Tellez back to first for Derek Fisher, who's 0 for two. Come on, mate. Earn your spot in this lineup, please. Full count. Fisher swings at strike three, and that'll do it. Still down seven to five as Kay continues to Inglacius, and with the pitching slot up next, he'll probably have to get us through this innings, and that'll do it for him, won't it? Starts with a strikeout, excellent stuff. Brings up the pitching slot. They are going to hit their pitch up. Owen oh, two's the count on Anderson. He gets sat down as well. Excellent stuff, Kane. If you can get Pache for me, who's two for two, have been a bit of a problem for us today. Then you'll have done your job, mate. Come on. That's a ground ball there to Biggio. Over to first, and that'll do it. That'll do it. Now, what we don't want to happen, and what will almost certainly happen, is for Reyes to come out of the bullpen, because I forgot to take him out, because I'm thinking he might have to start the next game. Hamilton, though, comes in to face Anderson. Three and one is the count. Billy Hamilton grounds at the first base, and that is that is one away. We do pinch hit. Billy McKinney comes up to bat. He is batting 138 in the postseason. One and two is the count. What can Billy do? He can strike out. And Bo Bichette comes in. Two for three today with a home run. A bit of first pitch action here from Bo. He has got another hit in this game. Out there to center field, a two-out single for Bichette. Which brings up Biggio, who's two for two today as well. First pitch swing from Biggio. They're looking for Bichette. The steal, he gets there. They pitched out as well. I thought uh, they, I thought they were going to get him, but they didn't. Bichette's just too good. Now what can Biggio do? Full count. Can he drive in this run? Biggio, up the middle. Get home, Bo. Get home. He's going for it. He's going to get there. Biggio with an RBI. It's 7-6, to six, and it's Vlad Jr. coming up to bat. He's 2-3 for three to face the new pitcher, Sampson. Let's see what Vlad can do with him. Vlad Jr., oh, he's got a piece of it, but not big enough. It's going to stay in the park, and that'll do it. But we pull back one more run. Now, Reyes, almost certainly going to come out, so we can't start next game. There he is. 
Oh, that's a mistake that's going to cost us. All right, Reyes, just make sure you win this one for us, mate. Just make sure you win this one. One and one's the count on the leadoff man in Carte. That is hit to right field, and it's a leadoff single. Ozzy Alves comes in. One for three today. Two and two. They've got... Oh, take him away, boys. Take him away in handcuffs. Maguire with the throw out the second. Excellent stuff. One away. And let's see what Reyes can do with Albies now. Two and two's the count. Reyes strikes him out. Excellent stuff. Freddie Freeman comes in with two out. No one on. Three and one's the count. Come on, Reyes. That's popped up. I think that's staying in. Hamilton's going back. He should have a play on it near the warning track. He does, and that'll do it for the sixth. We are one run down with three innings to play here. Sampson to face Rowdy Tellez, who's one for one with a handful of walks as well. Tellez... He's hit it really well. Is the center field going to have a play? No, he's not. And Tellez is going to lead us off with a double. That tying run stands at second. All right. It brings up now Garrell Jr., who's one for three today. Can he drive in a run? First pitch swing from Garrell. He has grounded at the shortstop. And that will be one away. Reese McGuire now, who's 0 for 3 today. This is the weak part of our lineup. Can they get somehow Tellez home? McGuire pops it up into center field. Tellez stays at second, and it's going to be up to Derek Fisher to do it. Come on, Fish. He's 0 for 3 today. 2 and 2's the count. Fisher grounds at the second base, and we cannot get Tellez across the plate. We stretch. One run down in this crucial game four. Austin Riley to face Alex Reyes now. What can Reyes do? That is slapped down into right field to the fence. And that is going to be a leadoff double. Hopefully no more than that. They're looking for third. Oh, we get him at third. You idiot. Hey! He was greedy. And it matters for nothing now because Riley, you're standing back in the dugout, mate. All right, Camargo. He's two for three today. What can Reyes do with him? Another first pitch swing. Reyes induces the pop-up. Hamilton comes in, makes a simple catch, and that's two away. All right, Diano, who's one for three today. One and two's the count. Finish him, Reyes. Oh, he does. Huge. Absolutely huge. That ends the seventh. We're still a run down, and that should hopefully do it for Reyes now, and maybe he will be in some sort of condition to start game uh, five. Martin comes in to pitch for them. Hamilton to lead us off. He's one for three with that stunning home run. Can he get himself on base? Come on, Billy boy. Come on, mate. Hamilton. Oh, he's ripped it into right field, and that will be a leadoff single for Billy Hamilton. And he is a threat to steal himself around as well. Denny Jansen comes in to pinch hit for Reyes, so that will do it for him. And let's see what Denny Jansen can do. Jansen, he's hit to a double play. Oh, Danny boy, you moron. And that tying run goes away as Bo Bichette comes in. Three for four today. He's had a stunning day. Has he hit himself out early, though? Three and one's the count. Bichette, it's well hit into center field, but straight to center field. And that does it for the eighth. We are three outs away from dropping another game here. Fernandez to come in on the mound. He faces Iglesias. Fernandez, we know he's brilliant, or he's a little bit of a Hendrix. 2 and O's the count. That is a ground ball to Biggio. Over to first, mate. That's one away. All right. Fernandez to face Swanson now as they pinch hit. 2 and 2 is the count. Sitting down, Junior. Come on, mate. There we go. There we go. All right. Final out of the innings. 2 down. Pache to the plate. 1 and 1's the count. Come on. That should be easy. Tellez has it. Fernandez goes to first. That'll do it for the eighth. We are one run down going into the ninth. They broke our hearts in the ninth in game three. Can we do the same thing to them in game four? It's Biggio to lead us off. He is three for three today. Three and O is the count. Can we get that tying run aboard? Come on, Cavan. He draws the walk. Tying run aboard. Go ahead, run at the plate in the shape of Vlad Jr. He is two for four today. Come on, Vlad. Oh, he strikes out. Brings up Tellez, who is two for two. Three and one's the count on Rowdy. Can he get himself another walk? He can. The go-ahead run is now on base. 
It's uh, Garel Jr. who's one for four. Come on, Garel. Full count on him. Garel, he's popped it up. That's going to be two away, and it's not going to advance the runners. We're down to our final out. Oh, you idiot. We're done. Why are we doing that? Oh, we're 3-1 down. We knew going into the game that he wasn't in form, but he's given up all seven runs in one innings of work, and they haven't scored another run. But Duplantier has put them within a game of winning the World Series, and the big problem we have is that Patterson is due to go. He's not fit. Reyes, who I was going to start, is pitched in that one, which that's a mistake that could really hurt us. The, I guess the question is, could Fleming come up? And start the game. The other option. The only other option that we really have. Is if we start Espinosa, Who has okay stamina. Uh, I mean it's roughly what um, what Patterson has. So maybe that's an option. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do we go with Espinosa in a game 5. That we now have to win. Or do we go with John Fleming. Who's been an absolute star for us. We probably have to go with Fleming. Don't we. We have to go with Fleming, get as much as we can out of him. Hope that maybe we can go with Pearson in game six, if, if, if we get that far. Um, yeah, or maybe Espinosa has to go game six, and then game seven, we deal with that when we get there. Oh, it's not good, is it? Anyway, guys, that's it for today. If you have enjoyed that, please do hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time for game five, where it's a must win. It's all must win from here. Take care.